Hello everybody, Zeus and I are here to read another story with you. So cuddle up and here is today's book. It is called When God Made Light, written by Matthew Paul Turner and illustrated by David Cattrall. Let there be light. That's what God said, and light began shining and then started to spread. Light glared and glimmered, it flared and sparked, and wherever light shined, dark stopped being dark. In the beginning, space became bright, cause God filled it with twinkles of yellowy white. Brilliant star gleams, swirls of light streamed. In that once empty space, a galaxy beamed. When God made light, a universe lit up, a dazzling display of big shiny stuff. And all that light, every bright golden hue, is the very same light that God put inside you. Now God made the sun to light up our days, to cover our planet with light-filled rays, to make summers warm and winters not too cold, to help flowers bloom and turn wheat fields to gold, to burst in the morning at the first crack of dawn, to rise up slowly and beam across lawns. And when the sun shines, here's what you should do. Go run and have fun, play a game maybe too. Go skipping or flipping on down a slide, slipping or if it's too hot in a pool, just go dip. Dance in the grass, go climbing in trees, build castles with sand, face the wind, feel its breeze. Eat berries and cherries in a patch pick strawberries or whistle out loud with a choir of canaries. And once in a while when the plane is done, look up in the sky and thank God for the sun. And when the light fades and a day ends too soon, wave goodbye to the sun and hello to the moon. Yes, God made the moon to brighten the sky's night, to reflect the sunshine, to be our world's nightlight. Just beneath a dark sky, there are things you can do. Just bring mommy or daddy and a flashlight or two. Raise a tent and go camping or through the woods stamping, romping and stomping on paths made for tramping. Catch fireflies in jars, go gazing at stars, try counting and seeing how many there are. See constellations, shapes and formations, find a lion or bear amid heaven's creations. Sing songs round campfires, make marshmallow s'mores, like grandpa tell stories, wage flashlight wars. Now, when God made light, God made all different kinds. Some sparkles, some flares, but all light shines. It flashes in bolts when lightning is crashing, or bursts through the sky when a comet is dashing. And if you ever feel scared in the darkness of night, remember the shadows are no match for God's light. Climb into bed, sleep soundly and dream, and know that inside you, God's glow is a gleam. Cause you're just like the sun and the moon in the sky, as lustrous as twinkles that dazzle the eye. You're as splendid as lightning when it flashes so bright, cause on the day you were born, God said, let there be light. So beam like the sun, glimmer like a star, and wherever you go, dark will stop being dark. Shimmer and shine, be a beacon so bright, cause when God made you, child, God made it. The end. Oh, I love that. When God made you, God made light.
you know, it's winter time, right? Winter is coming. And have you noticed that we're getting less sunshine? Oh, it's getting dark earlier and earlier. And maybe you go, oh, I can't play outside because it's getting colder. What are some ways where the light inside of us can shine? A few nights ago, we were outside looking at all of the stars because it's dark earlier, which means we get to see the moon and the stars like our story brought out. And we get to see that we get to praise God for creating all of those. And when you look at the moon or you see maybe a shooting star, is that a love letter from God? And can we remember like our book said, that same light is glowing inside each of us. Just you too, Zeus, is God's light gleaming inside of us. And we get to then share that light with others. It casts out the darkness, all of that light. All right, you have a great rest of your day and we will see you next time.